Greetings YouTube. Um, I've been collecting a few things over the last um, two or three weeks and I thought I would do a video today. So, we're going to start over here with uh, carving fantasy and legend fantasy uh, figures in wood, uh, which I thought was kind of intriguing. Who knows, maybe I'll get into wood carving someday. Um, Moira A. Guns, Welcome to uh, Biotech Nation, which is from the NPR radio series. I got that for like a dollar, I think. When Women and Mountains Meet, um, an autographed copy of a book my wife actually already owns. We'll get rid of the other copy and keep this one because it's about um, mountain climbing. Um, and this book here, Mathematics for the General Reader by E.C. Titchmarsh. Well, I'm Titchmarsh. That's a weird name. I purchased this for a dollar strictly because the cover is so incredibly beautiful. I just loved the layout and the color choices, and it was just lovely. Um, I will probably read it as well. Um, post Secret, the hardcover um, collection of postcards sent into the Post Secret website, which you should check out if you haven't, um, where people reveal secrets through postcards. Um, I picked this up for a dollar at a uh, flea market, and um, it's worth considerably more than that. Um, the Outward Bound Wilderness First Aid Book for my wife. Uh, how to make there you go. How to make drums, tom toms, and rattles. And this here has no slipcover. Isaac Asimov's Extraterrestrial Civilizations, because as I've said, his nonfiction work is far more entertaining to me than his fiction work. Um, we have some DVDs: To Kill a Mockingbird, which is my wife's favorite movie. Um, Die Hard 2, which I did not have in my collection. April Fool's Day, which is a film I have not seen in decades, but I'm looking forward to watching again. A, a season of Speed Racer, which I will probably find painful to watch now as an adult. Um, the Battle of the Warriors, a, uh, a, a uh, an Asian-themed um, epic martial arts style film. El Mariachi, um, which is a film I don't know if I've ever actually seen in its entirety. Um, some small surgical tools, um, three sets of forceps, uh, not forceps, uh, scissors, and then two small pairs of tweezers. I will be using two of those, and one I'm going to be giving to a friend of mine because she does small scale things. She's an artist that deals with insects. A 1944 U.S. Army knife from one of their mess kits. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. And I actually really like the sh overall shape and design. I think this is a solid shape for like uh, an EDC style. Oh, this is not going to be you know, an EDC blade, but that's a really good shape and length and everything for an EDC blade in my opinion. A flashlight with a built-in magnifying glass, which I need to find a bulb for. This here is a wooden key fob, and it was just lovely and it has a great feel and wonderful texture and I actually have no idea what I'm going to do with it because I don't really use key fobs a whole lot so I'll find a use for it. I don't know what that would be but I will find a use for it. Um, now we have some ceramics we have in here. We have this mug which I'm thinking of making my one of my daily mugs like I, I drink tea once or twice a week so I may be making that my mug. Um, we have a small vase which I just, I like the color palette. Uh, it was well executed and I have a thing for that particular shape. Um, here we have a triangular container, which I thought was kind of nicely done. I like the shape. Um, so I put that, I'm putting that into my collection. Um, we have this tea cup, coffee cup, and uh, accompanying plate. Now, this is the pattern my wife's grandmother gave to us when she was um, when she went into a uh, full care facility. She's still alive. She's 98. Um, and unfortunately last year my wife broke one of the coffee cups while we putting the set back into the basement because um, we don't use it full time. We just use it on the holidays. So we were we locked out and we found a replacement and so here it is. Now we don't actually need the plate but we'll keep it around. Um, now we have two new bells from my wife's collection. This is an apple. As you can see, a lovely tone on that apple. Um, and then we have, this is a, a woman. We actually have a miniature version of this which is probably only about that high in my wife's collection. 
So now we have two of them. We have a Tiki, which was made in 1971. I don't know if you can read that in there, but it says 1971 here at the bottom, and that's the year my wife was born, and she has an affection for Tiki figures, so what the heck, we picked it up. We have a Toledo letter opener here. I actually have two of these that are about two-thirds the scale of this one, but I saw this one, and I'm like, it was a nice price. It was like three bucks. I'm like, I'm going to pick that up and add it to my collection. I just thought it was really cool. And they actually do make wonderful um, letter openers. And then we have the Max. Now, I got this two reasons. One, I collect figures, and um, it's a nice shape. And it's an unusual figure. Not everyone has one of these. Um, and my wife is a major fan of this comic. And she loved the comic. She loved the animated series. We really have to get it. We don't have it on DVD at the moment. So I'll be doing a full review of this at some point. Um, but this has been my latest Weekend Bargains.